everybody, welcome to this energy update for February the 12th, 2017. Before we get started, let's just take a few breaths together. So take in a good deep breath to fill yourself with what you need. And a breath to let go of everything you have been experiencing today. And another good breath just to fill yourself with what you need. And a breath to let go of everything you don't need to be holding right now. So, hi everyone. It's been an interesting time, as we know, in the last few months. Uh, interesting is, of course, an understatement, but one of the things that hit me very clearly this morning when I was tuning in to see what, what would be some of the themes that we're going to see over the coming four to six weeks what came up was an energy of subtle emotion that will now replace what has been extreme emotion or gross emotion. So the way I interpret that is if I look back over the last few months and what we've gone through as a world, there has been an extreme reactivity that has been taking place and a real rising to the surface of real deep, dark, heavy stuff. So energies of division, separation, loneliness, uh, despair, anxiety, fear, basically taking many different forms. Um, and the division energy was very strong, uh, has been very strong for quite a long time. So as we're moving out of that now, you will still find, most of you who are awake, that you're going to go through the waves that we are going through in this very intense clearing time. It's a time where you don't tend to get away with your own lower states of being, your own lower emotions, and particularly those of you who are focused on wanting to really open yourself up to life, which is most of you watching this video, there is an incredible propulsion of opportunity now that's here that has been on the planet for many years, but is taking more of us than ever before on that wave. And it does mean that as we step forward, expand, open up, Lo and behold, up comes the basement. So those heavier emotions will still be rising for many of you at the moment, but it should start to calm down as we get towards the end of February and as we move into and through March. We're going to be entering a phase of more subtle emotion and higher mind. Now, on the shadow side, the higher mind can mean uh, more manipulative and um, calculated actions are taking place. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot of those going on out there in the world right now. Anyway, um, certainly when we look at when we look at a lot around power structures and uh, control and all of those things. So it's fairly dizzying when you look at it. It's almost uh, amazing to see how transparent some of this stuff is now compared to where years ago it was a little more insidious and a little more under the surface. But with all of that going on, so too is there an opportunity of higher mind that is rising in everybody. So the gift of this is those of you who are innovators, those of you who are creators, those of you who are pioneers of new ways of being. Now, when I say new ways of being, there are so many, so many subgroups within that, but really what, what we're talking about is a more conscious, more peaceful, uh, more community-focused way of being. Those of you who are that group, you're going to find it a fairly extraordinary time this coming six weeks or so. Um, the connection energy is going to rise again, the ability to move forward with your plans, the ability to divinely create with energies that will come through you. So what some of you call download energy, there's going to be a lot of download energy in the coming three to four weeks. So as we move into mid-March, lots of you who have perhaps felt a little bit stopped, arrested, unsure what you're doing, where you're going, that energy is going to come in and rise. Now, those of you who have really gone through a heavy time of late, the one thing I would suggest to you is to really look at that relationship to heaviness now and to question, okay, have I become used to heaviness? Have I been in my heaviness for years and years? And to literally get more aggressive about the way you treat that. That doesn't mean if you're someone who's got deep PTSD right now or deep trauma, you have to get over it. It means you have to really support it. 
The reason I say this is the intensity of these times are such that if we can swim as often as we can, even if we need to rest, even if we need to have a day where we're lying down, if we can keep getting back in the pool and swimming as much as we can, it's going to carry you to higher planes of experience and higher planes of existence within your personal life. If we are really struggling to swim and just sat down on the bottom of the pool floor and can't get up, we're gonna feel like we're drowning more and more of the time. So I say this to those of you who feel done with or sick of your heavier emotions. The first thing for any of us to do is we have heavier emotions. It's, it's part of the scale. Part of the scale of life is we have our high points and we have our lower points. So number one, accepting that they are there is very important because judging they're there, pushing them away, that's just going to create a separation that mirrors the very separation that created the trauma in the first place. So that's step one. But step two is to go, okay, well, this thing obviously isn't working. This worked for 12 months. Yoga worked for six months, but now I need to bring something else in as well. So I say that because there is such a potent, alive, bright, vibrant energy that is going to be coming in more and more in the next few months. But if you work with that energy, you'll find yourself literally having a very different experience of what we call dimensions. So, you know, we can all live on the same street as each other, but one man in a house four doors along is kind of having a more fourth and fifth dimension flowing reality. And someone else four houses away from him is having a really tough, what we'd call two or 3D time on earth. That level of coexistence is everywhere, but there are, there are windows of opportunity this year for a whole group of us to up-level our maintained experience of living, which will personally benefit us, but will also then make us more useful to share, emit, and bring that energy out. It's certainly needed. You know, the, the term light workers is, is a very true term because I do think that light work is work of the light. And those of us who seek it, those of us who want to bring it, are looking for our own personal healing through that work and our sense of purpose. But also there comes a certain point when your own personal healing has reached a level of stability that you start to want to share it outwards. You start to want to help influence what's going on around you to invite others to higher levels of experience and existence. So those of you who are geniuses in that, those of you who are bringing your brilliance to new methods and forms, this is gonna be a really good four to six weeks. So get yourself primed and ready. Um, you're gonna see some real connections. Again, that word downloads comes in. That's gonna be coming strong and fast. Any of you who are wondering, okay, well, I hear what you're saying, but I don't really feel that at the moment. The one thing I would say to you is meditate. Uh, this period of time, particularly, meditate. And for some of you, meditation will be a very developed practice that you're devoted to. For some of you, meditation might just be taking five or 10 minutes per day just to sit in stillness. And even if you notice your thoughts, to keep coming back to awareness and to notice that there are thoughts, you are not of your thoughts, you are not following your thoughts, Meditation can actually be something that really gathers steam in you very quickly if you give it some time and practice. And the reason I say meditation is a lot of this higher consciousness energy, it's going to be sparking ideas in you. It's going to be waking up parts of you that have perhaps been asleep or waiting. Interestingly, within all of that, it's not going to be a time of strong movement. So there's a great stillness in this time compared to usual. Often when I hear those kinds of messages, it tends to mean, you know, people are running off to Bali or deciding to move or taking a trip. Not so much in this, in this kind of coming four to six weeks, there is a stillness that a lot of you are going to be able to tap into in a whole new way while you let this energy come into you to tell you where to go next and what to do. So final thing, don't forget we have this amazing planet all around us, incredible nature everywhere. If you feel like you're getting too stuck in the human world, if you feel like you're getting very triggered about everything that's going on in the world, take breaks. You know, 
all good soldiers who are working for what they perceive to be the good fight um, always take breaks. They step out, they step back, they take a moment to replenish their energy. And I'm seeing quite a few people getting very fried by what's going on in the world and the way that they keep running at trying to help and to solve it. So for those of you who feel like that's your truth, it's a really good time to recognize this overstimulates me if I look at it for three hours a day. That could be the Facebook news feed. It could be the issue that you're trying to help bring some consciousness to, some light to right now. So balance is a really important key for all of us. Self-care, self-awareness. I think that's everything for this update. And I'll be back uh, with, yes it is, sorry, just checking. Um, so I'll be back with another one probably in a few weeks time, guys. But look after yourselves and we're a tribe and tribe really helps us connect. This past week, I've rediscovered my love of five rhythms, which some of you might know as ecstatic dance, which I hadn't done for a long time. And um, that was one of the things that I was like, ah, this is my medicine and always was. And it's, it's a way of connecting with other people. So find your thing that helps you connect with other people in a way that suits you. See if you can put that on your vision board for this coming few weeks if you're feeling a little isolated or a little alone. Uh, this month we have a new mp3 called Own Your Heart Energy. It was channeled outdoors in Hawaii, in Kauai, on the Soul Magic Retreat last November and it was a really interesting channeled message that talked about how our heart energy works and not only how it works but how we become sticky to others what it means, how to let go of being sticky in our heart energy. It was, it was one of, uh, for me personally, one of the most interesting um, channels that I've, I've, I felt like I'd done in a year or so in terms of the information involved. So if that appeals to you, that's free to members of the portal or it's available in the store. Um, the portal is our membership group and you receive each month uh, the latest mp3 and also a live q a broadcast which is 90 minutes where you can submit your question and we answer as many questions as we can and uh, that takes place every month so you can check that out too um, and finally uh, we have energy mastery in toronto which is um, over half full at the moment that is the middle weekend of april i'm forgetting the dates so i'll have to link it here um, but we're also doing energy mastery in los angeles which will be the first time that we bring energy mastery to california and that will be the june 2nd 3rd weekend and then finally norway in uh in oslo just outside oslo in norway um, and that will be the weekend of around the 23rd of june so i'll put all the dates below because i don't remember them now but um great to see you all lots of love everyone take care